But if you can't, in this case it's reversed, if you can't go to the mountain, maybe you can get the mountain to come to you. And I believe Taiwan is ideally positioned, and in no small measure because of this extraordinary opening of relations with the mainland, to become much more of a center for trade and commerce and finance in what is unquestionably the most important region of the present and the future, uh, and particularly in economic and commercial terms. The ECFA agreement with the mainland is a step in the right direction, I think. Uh, and I, I know some people in Taiwan worry a little bit it will bring Taiwan too close to the mainland. I think the answer to that is not to uh, pull back from economic, close economic relations with the mainland, but rather to explore possibilities of closer relations with the United States and with other countries in the Pacific. But most of all, I think, the key is to open up Taiwan's own economy. I think economic liberalization is the thing that can attract many, many businesses to think of Taiwan as a, at least as good and perhaps a better place to locate for doing business in Asia than, for example, Hong Kong. Uh, Hong Kong is great. Uh, it's great most of all, I think, most people would say, because it is the freest economy in the world. I think it does rank number one in the heritage ranking. Uh, but you know, that's, that's not an act of God, that's an act of man. You can't change your physical location, you can't change your topography. Uh, you may not be able to change the attitude of Beijing toward official diplomatic relations, but you can change the regulation of your own economy. 